Man, got around. OG7 back here. And today, guys, I have a, I have a situation uh, I want to discuss with you guys before I get into the topic of today's video, which is actually, you know, um, a call out to you guys to open up your mind to change your paradigm. And all the paradigm is is how we view the world. You know, human beings were creatures of habit. And we brush our teeth the same way. We use the bathroom the same way. A lot of guys get dressed the same way, putting their right foot in their pants first. Some guys put their left foot in their pants first. You know, um, just different things like that. You know, the way you put your belt on, your seat belt in the car. It's just the way we're conditioned, you know, human beings. We like to control things. We like to be in control as much as we can of our environment. And I'm, I'm guilty of that too, but one thing I've learned move into a different country and then move into uh, different parts of the United States and starting from scratch. Man, you got to be flexible and fluid. You have to open up your mind to new concepts and ideologies, man, because he who doesn't change, dude, is destined to become irrelevant. So uh, I had to make this video, man, because, um, you know, I, I first, of all, first and foremost want to apologize. Like some guys make these comments with the witty repartee and I don't, maybe I don't catch your humor or your comedy and I may say, I may write some things that are not cool and I want to apologize because dude, I got, I got issues, man, and I'm still working on myself. But one thing for sure, I'm, I'm looking to become a better person. So I'm looking to disassociate with negative people and to associate more with positive people. And I had to make this video because what I've noticed, dude, like YouTube has this I don't know if you want to call it algorithm or analytics or whatever they want to call it, but it lets you know the trends of your channel. So what's interesting, and I want to be transparent and, and uh, forthright with you guys. I'm moving to a foreign country, dude, on the other side of the world, totally different from our culture. It's a culture of, you know, days gone by where men were men and women were women and children listened to their parents. And society was built around strong families. Uh, and and it, here's the whole hierarchy, you know. The men are the hunter-gatherers and the warriors. And the women are the the nurturers and the preparers of food and, and, and uh, cleaning the house and, and raising the kids, dude. That's what I was raised on. I don't want to be part of your modern society anymore. That's what you want to call it. You guys can have it. But I'm moving to a place where warriors are venerated and savage barbarism is is esteem dude and so all this you know I've, I've been trying to put more positive things on my channel like you know the morning the motivational mornings and the afternoon quotes to ponder and the um, nocturnal predictive programming all that means is you you program your brain at night to think positive things so when you wake up in the next day you're a better person the day before and I notice my subscription count keeps dipping dude if I don't put on here you know, prison butt grape and, and violence and savagery. But, dude, there's more life than that. And I wanted to tell you guys this because, dude, I'm moving into a positive direction, dude. And, you know, if you guys want to unsubscribe, man, that's that's your prerogative because YouTube is, is a public forum, man. It's all about entertainment, right? I got it. But let me share something with you about, about my channel moving forward. Like, first of all, I'm going to be making another channel. Well, actually, two more channels, and they're they're basically going to be about traveling, man, and and kicking it with the natives, dude, and and just building relationships in other countries, and of course, my my passion, which is martial arts, dude. It's got nothing to do with prison and all that stuff, bro. And I think that this prison this prison channel will be around maybe for another six months at the late at the longest. You know, I mean, that's what I'm thinking right now. And so, for those of you who are stuck on this prison stuff, man. I want to share this with you, man. I I did. <coughs> I've done quite a few years of this prison stuff, trying to show you guys how these other YouTubers, dude. I, I don't care who they are. They're they're lying to you, bro. They're they're not telling you that there's man butt sex and it's not consensual all the time, dude. And then let me share something with you. I want to share it with you a concept called date grape. And I want to give you both sides of the coin because I understand. It. I'm not saying I agree with it, but I can understand it. So you got a boy and a girl going on a date. 
the boy's attracted to the girl, and the girl maybe is attracted to the boy. And then they go on doing a date, and then they end up where they're Netflix and chilling somewhere, and the dude's excited, they're making out, and then he's going, you know, he's trying to hit a home run, and the girl tells him no, right? So here's, here's, here's where it gets kind of tricky, guys. Some women, I'm not saying all, some women will say no because they want to see how much you really desire them. And some women will say no when they mean yes, they're just saying no so that you don't feel like they're a slut or a 304 or, or they're too easy. So they got to, the woman's job is to say no. But if she's really liking you, she wants you to be alpha and confident and then to proceed forward. And this is where it can get gray or murky. Um, it's my belief, you know, and this is what I tell the women I deal with. If a woman tells me no, and I'm just being honest with you guys, and I'm going to be calm and cool because I got my medication today. A woman tells me no, I say, hey, it's cool, man. Just go ahead and pack your stuff and get out. And the lady will say, what's wrong? I say, no, nah, it's, it's nothing wrong. You said no. Maybe you misunderstood my intention of what we were here to do. And you have a right to say no. Get the bleep out. But you're upset. No, nah, I'm, I'm not upset. It's just I don't play these silly games. This is not going to be a Mike Tyson situation. You come to my place. We had a great date. We want to finish with dessert. You're saying no. It's cool. Get out. Lose my number because I'm not going to play this game. I'm not going to play this game of, oh, does she really mean yes when she says no? And then if she want me to be alpha, do I don't take things from women, guys. That's just me. But I'm saying that it can get convoluted because some women, you know, they, they really mean yes when they say no. So I'm just saying it's a, it's a slippery slope. I, I believe if a woman says no, then she means no. You know what I mean? So the reason I bring that up is because it's very important that you understand, man, like, you know, a lot of women play games, dude, and they, you know, they, they, they act like they don't like you when they do, and then they'll act like they like you when they don't, and, and all this kind of stuff, dude. I'm just, I've had enough of it, dude, and I'm, I'm moving to a foreign country, and I'm just sharing this with you because, dude, I try to share positive, uplifting situations with you guys and I, I covered the prison stuff a lot because if you, if you don't understand women that one situation I was just telling you about where you thinking a woman means yes when she says no and you proceed forward because you want to know I understand it's confusing you want to show her that you're alpha and you're strong you're a leader and you take in charge and women like a man who leads and women like a man who takes what he wants it's very confusing and you do that but she's not really feeling you like that. And then she presses charges and you go to the belly of the beast, bro. Your culo is going to be rab ravished and brutalized until you have what's called a prolapse. If you don't know what a prolapse is, Google it and watch the video, bro. That's what they're going to do to you because prisoners have a false sense of what's right and what's wrong. I'm not saying it's right to take a man's butt cheeks forthly. I'm not saying, but I'm saying... Some prisoners feel like if you can grape a woman, then they can grape you. That's the way they rationalize it. I'm just saying that I think I've covered the prison stuff enough that you guys who are logical and intelligent and want to live the good life will understand, like, hey, OG Silverback shift into some positive stuff. You know, it might seem kind of weird, but I'm a rap with dude because I like, you know, I like the way that he's changing his life. And maybe I'm, I'm not going to change my life the way he did, but I want to change my life too, so I want to kind of see what he does. And you ride with me because, dude, what I'm going to be doing over here in this foreign country, it's going to blow your mind, whether you're a troll, a uh, keyboard warrior, a hater, a supporter, a follower, a fan, part of the OG tribe. It'll blow your mind, the stuff that I got planned already, the foundation set. I just got to touch down. And so for those of you, man, who you can't see the, the, the vision of changing and opening your mind up to different concepts, man, please do unsubscribe, man, and do it with a quickness because I need to know who's for me or who's against me. Either you're going to either you're gonna get down or you're going to lay down. And if laying down means unsubscribing, please do so. So without further ado, man, I want to get into the topic of today's video, which is... The principle on which to manage an army is to set up one standard of courage which all must reach. And this is from Sun Tzu from The Art of War. And I share this with you because, guys, I, I really feel sorry for 
the generations that were born. I don't know what year it is, but I'm going to be, I feel sorry for you guys. And I've noticed this, guys. From the guys 40 years old and below, hey, man, you guys got a bum rap with our society. Like, when I was a kid, they had the Big Brother program. They had mentorship, leadership. They had apprenticeship. They had OJT. They had all these, all these um, situations put in place where young men can learn how to, where young boys can learn how to be men by men who were leaders in our society. You guys got a bum rap, and I got it. And you don't know who to trust in, who to believe in, who to follow. And you're just so confused, man, that you don't understand if a dude's feeding you some positive stuff. That's a good thing, right? But it's all good, baby, because you know what? We all got to learn on our own accord. I just wanted to save you a lot of the strife I had, you know, wasting a lot of decades of my life, a decade of my life in prison, another decade not understanding women, bro, and being divorce scraped. And now I wanted to share that with you because there's a fine line between not understanding women and going to the paint the homes. So for those of you, man, who, who are not all about positivity and stuff, please do unsubscribe. Those of you, man, who are rocking with your boy, just hang tight. Keep your seatbelt on because it's going to be a rocky ride, dude. Because, hey, man, I'm, I'm packing up, dude. and I got medical appointments and, you know what I mean, I'm shipping stuff, bro. I'm changing bank accounts, man. I'm converting money. I'm doing all kind of stuff, dude. You don't know what it's like, man. Like, if, if, you, if you don't travel a lot. And even if you do, you don't understand this. Dude, it's one thing to go on vacation to another city or another state or visit your loved ones or relatives or even go on another country on a, on a, on a one or two week vacation. Dude, it's a whole nother thing to up and pack your whole life. So for those of you who don't understand, please unsubscribe. Adios. God bless you. May Buddha Allah and Confucius bless you. But for those of you, dude, who are all about opening your mind to new concepts and change, bro, and seeing a better life, dude, seeing things on a higher vibrational level, hey, dude, put your seatbelt on and buckle up because Kansas is about to go bye-bye.